Hey guys, people are. Today I got a game in the Akatsuki for a Hellsinger on the screen here. A lot of you guys don't have him. This is a modified Tanaka build, okay? Everything is the exact same that I would put on Tanaka, except for slot three. I got Twist and Track. You got Torpedo Reload Reduction or Torpedo Range Increase, all right? So I'll take that build, run with it. Uh, domination Mode, Trap. We're going to be answering a very important question uh, that destroyer players need to kind of resolve internally. When should we be torping battleships? New players, uh, players that need more depth to their destroyer game, will answer the question, always. That's all I do as a destroyer player, right? Good destroyer players that you want on your team will answer that question uh, thusly. When do you torp battleships? As I'm doing the important functions that a destroyer is designed to do. What are those functions? Spot the enemy team, deal with enemy destroyers, deal with enemy caps. How you do those two, the second two roles, deal with enemy destroyers, deal with the caps, changes depending on what ship you're in, what nation, you know, each destroyer is played a little bit differently. But, uh, like for instance here, we're going to be... Uh, dealing with a destroyer and dealing with this cap right off the bat. We're not charging in there trying to dogfight a destroyer. Now, this one's going to be a Maz, so it'd be very dangerous for us to get into a close-range gunfight with him. He's going to pop a smoke, sonar, gun us down, potentially hit us with torps. Here he comes, though. We're out-spotting him. We're providing spotting for our team on this destroyer in the cap. We're actually doing all three roles right now, and our team is responding. They're shooting at the Maz. This is glorious when your team does this. But we're... What? Japanese destroyer just shot his guns. You don't see that every day, <laughs> at least not with some destroyer players, but go ahead and do that. We got a Dallas on the other side of the island. We got a battleship way back there. What's the threat? The Maz, he's trying to dodge our torps, so he can't even zoom in and take the time to aim at us because we got those torps in there. Engine's knocked out. Now he's in trouble. Dallas pops around. We're going to pop the smoke to protect ourselves there, and the Maz is dead. All right, so we've that's a great example of the three important roles of the Destroyer all wrapped in one. Check this shot out. Ooh! Sayonara. All right. Now, here's what's going to set us apart from your average Johnny Potato Destroyer player. Most of them are going to be looking at this saying, wow, we got a clear path to that battleship back there. You know what that means. We're going to spend the next 15 minutes or 13 minutes, whatever we got left in the game, uh, doing circles around this guy, launching torpedoes at him. If we happen to hit him, great. We'll go find another battleship and rinse and repeat. Nope. We're going into C. We're going to capture C very quickly. Then we're going to go right over to B, capture that, see what we can do as we're capturing the base. This is domination mode. If you want to win domination mode, you control the objectives. If you want to lose domination mode, just focus on torpedoing battleships that are sitting in the back doing nothing. They're not... This guy... The Normandy is not affecting... The outcome of this game. No offense to him. Uh, he wanted to kind of support his flank over here. Fortunately for him, we blew him up very quickly, so he didn't have an opportunity to make much of an impact over here. But now he's just kind of going, you know, back line towards the other side of the map. Why would I want to deal with him? He is no threat to me. He's not a threat to my team. Meanwhile, flipping these caps, we start accruing points every five seconds. That increases our lead or reduces the enemy's lead. And that's great, because we want to win Domination Mode on score. 9 out of 10, maybe 8 out of 10 on the low side. Domination Mode games are resolved by the score. So keep that in mind. Focus on that. I feel like when I talk about this, a lot of times some people are misconstruing my advice. They're missing the point. I'm not saying don't launch torpedoes. Torpedoes are much more effective against battleships than they are against cruisers, which are much more mobile, and they're even less effective against destroyers uh, in most situations at least so I'm not saying don't launch the torpedoes ever and especially don't launch them at battleships I'm saying don't get focused on them you don't want to turn in that guy from Star Wars who's saying stay on target stay on target for you know you see it game after game after game where there's your destroyers are saying that in their head just stay on target and they're doing circles around these guys for 10 minutes oh I missed again I'm just gonna drive off you know for a minute let my torps reload then we're going to take another pass at this guy. Ineffective. What is While you're doing that, the game is often lost you know, by the players that are 
the red team will win the game because you're not, you know, actively contributing to your team winning. You're just trying to take off what should be usually the lowest priority piece on the enemy team, the battleships. You're going to see a great example of that in this game. We're going to end up torping two battleships, but they're going to be the last two ships on the enemy team. But, you know, I'm not saying if there's good chances to take some shots at the battleships, don't take them. I'm just saying don't become so focused on torping the battleship that that's all you do. If that's all you're doing, launching torpedoes at battleships, you're missing out on the three important roles of the destroyers, okay? Torping battleships, getting that massive damage, removing those big strong guns and the big pools of HP are good. I'm not saying don't do it, but they're kind of icing on the cake. We're not focused on them, okay? So now we're on B. We've actually flipped B. We got two caps. We got a kill. We only got 5k damage, but we got uh, defense, you know. Right now, the score is looking pretty good, and we're just going to try and keep these guys out of B. Launched a couple sets of torps. Uh, both the intended targets are cruisers, which, as we noted, are hard to hit uh, in general. But we're kind of... I want I launched that one towards that uh, light cruiser there. If he comes around the bend, you know, if he hugs that island turning towards us, he might hit those. Same thing with the Miyoko there. That one was kind of coming in here. We're trying to defend B, of course. We want that cruiser kept at bay. And those are all just kind of zoning torpedoes. We're just trying to make the routes towards our position as fraught with danger as we possibly can. And once again, we're shooting our guns at enemy destroyers. Why not? Go ahead and take the shot. We got a smoke. We actually just pop it now as we determine that we got plenty of spotting over here. This battleship to our to the north or, you know, bias on the right-hand side of the screen there, he's going to be providing a lot of spotting. And so there's no reason we don't really need to be spotting at this point in time. But we can use these guns, take some shots. And every, you know, the Akatsuki on that team has probably got the same amount of HP so as we do, which is just shy of 12k. So every time we hit him for 1,000 damage, that's just shy of 10% of his HP. And there's no reason for us to not be taking those shots. Miyoko over there, uh, he's now on the cap, which means we're not getting the points from that cap right now. We still technically control it, but it's contested. We're not getting those points. We want to get that ship off of there as much as possible because we are trying to win on the score, and him being on here is preventing us from running that score up right now. Both teams' score is going up at the same rate. We're also not uh, panicking. We're not going haywire here. We're not going to suicide torp rush this thing. Rushing cruisers in uh, these destroyers, great way to end your game very quickly. They're designed to kill you, and they are looking to do so. So don't make it easy for them. Akatsuki, I think I look. I thought he was turning out there. He turned in, so we shot just a little uh, high there. Luckily, our team does a great job of eliminating him. Now we have a destroyer advantage. We have one destroyer myself and uh, versus no one, none on the other team. Check this play out, though. We can see the Mayoka is kind of drifting around now. I'm assuming he's going to try and turn hard, basically do a circle right around this island, try and rush us, kill us. But what we're going to do is we're going to launch these torpedoes at the New Mexico. Now this is a targeted strike at the New Mexico, but these are also zoning torps vis-a-vis -vis the Miyoko. We don't know where he is, but we want a bunch of fish in the water that could potentially hit the Miyoko. And if they do, well, then he's in trouble because he can't withstand these torpedoes. So again, these torpedoes, while we aim them at the New Mexico, he's actually got an island in between us and the New Mexico, so I don't think we can even torp him. But these are zoning torps. The intention is to make these waters treacherous for that Miyoko as much as possible. We do hit him once. We do hit him twice. And uh, we're going to go ahead and hit him three times for the... He gone! Take him right off the map there. And now, check this out. This is when you should be excited as a destroyer player. We've killed the ships that you want to kill quickly on the enemy team. The destroyers, the cruisers, they're gone. Now, there's battleships. This is when you get your moon eyes. This is when your heart starts palpitating and you rush in there thinking, all right, now I can torp. See, we've captured bases, we've controlled bases, we've defended bases, we've dealt with enemy destroyers, we've spotted the enemy team, we've helped destroy cruisers, we've done everything we could possibly do to help our team win. Killing these guys single-mindedly for the last 10-15 minutes 
wouldn't really help our team to win in most instances. Yes, sometimes it'll turn the tide if you're blasting battleship after battleship. I'm not saying... Basically, nothing I ever say on this channel for this game is a hard and fast rule. Don't ever break it. They're all good rules of thumb, but there's always ex exceptions exceptions in this game to everything. All right? So I'm not saying don't ever, you know... I, I want to emphasize that. I'm not saying don't torpedo these battleships. That's not the point. But it's not that important. It's not nearly as important as most people think it is. You know, if you love torping battleships, win the game first, then go to town on them like we're doing here. Because <laughs> they're, they're having a hell of a time, man. When they have no one supporting them, you know, if you're playing battleship and you look at the roster and you're like, okay, we got two battleships left and they got... One destroyer, two destroyer, three destroyer. It doesn't matter how many. You're like, oh, God, this ain't going to be fun. And that's the point, you know. <laughs> Make it as less, you know, as unfun for these guys as you possibly can in these endgame situations because we've already won the game. We've been playing a little fast and loose for the last couple minutes, but we're just trying to go for style points here. We're trying to punish these guys by slamming them with torpedoes in the side. And... You know, once I decided we got to cover this topic again, the the destroyer player is getting a little uh, dicey out there. I picked the Akatsuki, played one or two games, and came up with this footage, and I'm using it deliberately because this is a ship. It's designed to torpedo. It's got great concealment. It's basically made to torp battleships. Okay. And again, I'm emphasizing the point, do not not torpedo battleships. If there were good shots at the torp at the battleships throughout the game, we would have been launching at them one after another, okay? That's not the point. But, you know, we heavily contributed to the game in a ship that's, in a lot of players' minds, that's only capable of torpedoing battleships. No. We dealt with destroyers, we dealt with caps, we spotted, and then we torped. In that order. That's the kind of... The first three are interchangeable. The last one is dead last for a reason. So hopefully that helped you guys out. If it did, please hit the thumbs up. New to the channel, consider subscribing. Lots of World of Warships coming all the time. Questions, comments, leave below. I love to hear from you guys. And we'll see you all in our